The book of Amos, chapter 5, verses 18. Woe, woe means destruction. Destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, Yahweh, is darkness and no light. And not, and not light. We're going to start this lesson by saying, Call the law Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash, double honors to the elect out here preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is Jesse back with another Bible lesson. Uh, we're just going to go into the um, end time prophecy of basically martial law and sedition among men, and uh, World War Three, all the um, end time events that's going to uh, transpire. We're just going to go through a few precepts. Uh, so, uh, but, but before we go into this lesson, Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. The Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit. And Baha Shem means in the name. So when you call on your Lord and Savior and you're repenting for forgiveness of sins, you call on the name of Yahweh Shah. No longer called on that fake ass name of Jesus Christ because the letter J was invented in 1524. So there's no way your Lord and Savior name could be Jesus. It is Yahweh Shah in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. He was a Hebrew from the tribe of Judah, a so-called black man. And you so-called white people, starting with the wicked elite banking families, uh, Rothschild Rockefellers, you are the biblical Edomites, pursuant to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites of the Bible. So let's go into these end time prophecies and... Um, Hit you with a few precepts, uh, Matthews 24 and 6, and you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, and that's what you um, have going on right now with um, Hamas and Israel, Ukraine, Russia, China, Australia, rumors of wars and actual wars that's going on. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So the Lord is saying, uh, don't be troubled by these things because they must happen. These things are written about in the Bible, so they must come to pass. So don't be troubled by it. And the end is not yet. Okay. And, um, second, as oh, hold on. Before we go into that, we're going to skip down to this. Martial law. They will declare martial law in the midst of um, all this. It will be civil wars going on. We're going to get that. It'll be civil wars, blacks against whites, Mexicans against all types of uh, de Democrats versus Republicans. It's going to be all types of uh, war, race wars, class wars, gender wars. There's going to be all types of that shit going on in the United States of America. And they will declare martial law. The government will declare martial law, Second Edwards, chapter 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yep. They're going to set up uh, these troops. The troops are going to uh, set up checkpoints. And they're going to stop you from leaving and going to other cities because of all the um, chaos that will be uh, going on. Now let's, now let's get into the chaos that will be happening. Second Edwards, chapter 13, verses 31. And one man shall undertake and fight against another and one city against another one place against another one people against another race wars class wars gender wars and one realm against another the spiritual realm against this earthly realm so you're gonna be see all type of apparitions and all types of stuff going on second as verse uh, 15 verses 16 for there shall be sedition among men. Let's go into that word sedition. What is the definition of the word sedition? <clears throat> the crime of creating a revolt, disturbance, or violence against lawful civil authority with the intent to cause it overthrow or destruction see that's what you got going on with the democrats and republicans it's going to get to a boiling point at one point in time whether trump wins this bitch or not or joe biden cheats and wins again something's going to pop off and these people are going to try to overthrow their own government let's get into it second Ezra 15 verse 16 for there shall be sedition among men 
and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, that's the presidents, in the court and the course of their actions they'll stand in their power. So they're not gonna give a fuck what the president got to say, what the mayor got to say, what the prime minister got to say, what the councilman got to say. They're gonna be actually fighting against those people and killing those people in the middle of the street. Let's see what else. Uh, second Ezra 15 verses 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. The modern day sword is the gun and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulations because the inflation prices will go through the roof. You're going to be paying almost $100 for a loaf of bread. So people are going to go crazy out here. Eight days. I believe they said eight days without food and the, uh, they say humans turn into cannibals and they uh, they go into the animal instincts and turn into cannibals after eight days of not eating. <clears throat> so they're going to be out here robbing your own neighbors, going to be robbing each other, spoiling each other houses, all types of uh, crazy stuff. Check it out. This is this else. This is what else is going to be transpiring. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 16. And their children shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So women, single women, and even uh, married women uh, that don't believe in Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, they're going to be uh, savagely raped out here. <clears throat> Whatever. What else we got? Uh, Zechariah chapter 13 verses 8 and it shall come to pass that in all the land says the Lord Yahweh all the land meaning um, Israel uh, you so called blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians because you are the world not the other nations two parts there are, two parts therein shall be cut off and die so two thirds of you Israelites God's chosen people are going to get cut off and die through all the midst of all this chaos that's going on but the, the third shall be left there at the elect, the one third. That's 144,000 in the great multitude. Well, precepts we got. Okay. Proverbs 29, verses 25. The elect being saved. The fear of man brings a snare, but whosoever put their Put his trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall be saved. So the elect of the nation of Israel, we're going to put our trust in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai to get us through all this craziness. He's going to keep us safe. Let's see if I got anything else. Check this out. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 verses 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord. You see how important the name of the Lord is? So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, from the west in the glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, shall lift up a standard against them. And that standard meaning uh, to put to flight. When you look at look into that word stand, that means to put the flight. So the the hundred and forty-four thousand, the elect is gonna have the powers to put the enemy to flight. They're gonna get spiritual powers in that day when the enemy comes in like a flood. So the elect and the hundred uh the, the hundred and forty four thousand and the great multitude will be saved from all this. But two thirds, you will be cut off and die. I think that's it. But uh, just going into some end time prophecies of uh, civil unrest coming to Babylon the Great. But uh, hopefully this lesson was edifying. All praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elect out here preaching this word in truth and sincerity. The brothers from uh, GMS. And you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You are the Israelites of the Bible. So it's time to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning. Uh, keep his commandments to the best of your abilities. And uh, when you do fail, because you will fail, you won't be able to keep the commandments perfectly. Only Yahweh Shah can. So when you do, we got a mediator. 
my brother Yahweh Shah, repenting his name. And if you're an able bodied man, you're supposed to be teaching this word in truth and sincerity, according to the doctrine of the GMS. And uh, we are with another Bible lesson.